hopefully I can get some nice vintage marbles. That's what I'm looking for. And some toys. I might even dig in here and try to find some of the... I find a whole bunch of cat eyes here. I'll put the link to the video up at the end someplace. A big horde of cat eye marbles. All to get, they were all thrown away together right down in here under me. I'll get back on my first one, folks. Later. And look at all this digging I've done. It's not deep digging, but raking over the last couple days. But I started in here right where I left off. And right out of this rusty layer, I see a marble right there already. Not been here five minutes. Man, what is this? It looks kind of, all the marbles are in nice condition. They're, you know, right up there is where they were thrown over. They're just scattered everywhere. Huh. It's a white and green one, but it's got a weird patch of color. I'll show you all these, like, at the end. That's kind of nice. That's either a Marble King or a Vetro. That's nice, though. I think it's a Marble King. I found, I've dug on Marble King factory dumps, and there's lots of marbles like this on them. That's nice, though. There's old mussel shells down in here deeper. That's a good sign. Look, the layer's going, let me put this on. That marble came from down in here. Like right. But see, this looks good. This is dry down in here. It was under a clay cap and see there's trash clear down in here. Might be cool. I'm sitting right here on the edge of the original surface of the ground, reaching down in there, pulling these bricks and stuff out. And this just popped out. Looks like some kind of figural thing. Looks like the head's there. It's looking good. What the heck is this? It's one of them like 19, this is probably Japan, 50s or 40s. It's not marked, but that's hard to believe that that's all there. It's a little boy singing. I think he might have had hands or something sticking out, but you can't tell it's break. It's got damage right there, I think. But it's still cool. I'll put it on my fine shelf. Huh. I don't really know what to even say. I had no idea. I thought this dump ended right here. It must go all the way up in there. Um, but there's just all con of trash down in here. Boss, there's shoes right there sticking out. That's a piece off of a shoe right there. There's bone and plastic and bags. And all around me I've dug marbles. There has to be a bunch of stuff back in here to film and find. And I'm gonna see if I can get it. I had no idea. See, I thought that was the bottom before and there was just a thin layer of stuff here. There ain't, look at this. There's a deep sea, there's pieces of bone. There should be mar nice marbles down in here. And I found that swirl. Maybe all the, the good ones are down here in these lower layers, we'll see. Might take me a few minutes to get one. I'll get back when I start seeing cool stuff. There's bottles just sticking out there everywhere. If there's any nice ones, I'll show you them too. I don't see nothing here alive. There's so many, look at the shoes. Man, that's a big foot. Huh. I just found tons of shoes. Whoa! Holy crap, live marble. Look at that. See what we got. This looks like a cat eye, but it might be a vitro one. It is. It's one of them like banana type where it just looks like the color shot in like look little set like an eye it looks like an eyeball that's awesome it's nice condition see if there's any more i'm in a nice layer now for marbles and it's dry look at the bottles it's hard to tell what is going to come out of here and i'm live marble find some more later this just popped out of the side and this actually looks like it's going to be nice yeah, it's just messed up enough. Caught. Caught quality beverages. New Haven, Connecticut. It says Caught King on it. 
There we go. Later. So I'll go in and see if you can see the marble. I'm sitting right up here and raking with this long rake and just I see the marbles right when they come out of the rusty layer. But man, I had no idea this layer was here. You gotta look around, but you see the marble now? Right in the wall. Right here. Oh boy. That's a nice marble cane. It's a rainbow. I thought it was another one of them green ones. That's nice. It's got real nice color on it. It's real nice condition. Man, that's a good one. All right. Here's this marble from that previous clip. See, these ain't no joke. Look how nice the condition is. That's a classic Marble King marble made by Marble King in West Virginia in the 1960s. That's a beauty. Later. Yeah, this looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Coleman chocolate flavored drink. Something falls. That's a cool looking little soda. Later. I got another one here, but it's just a white, all white game marble. But there's toys. There's more ACLs coming out. There's a Tom Collins Jr. There's a leg of a baby doll. There's a little teacup thing or something. Uh, I'll get some more. I don't know on this, but right over there around that tree, I found some awesome peewee marbles like a year ago, like four or five of them. And this might be a peewee marble. I might be wrong. That's looking like a peewee marble, folks. Let's hope it's not a bead. Probably is. It's a plastic thing, like a bullet or a bead. I think it's a bullet for a gun. It might even be a bead. No, it's a little plastic ball, but it's not a peewee. Well, I moved over here around this tree. I'm going back to the back side, trying to dig this bottle out, and there's a real sandy layer in here with glass and stuff in it. Look what I just raked out. It's another cowboy. And this is early Mark's rubber. This is awesome. These are just coming out of here. This is an old one. This is awesome. <sighs> Look at him. He's like a ranger. Oh, that's so cool. All right, I'll clean him up and show you. It's like the car tire brown rubber. 1950s plastic. Well, I thought I'd show you, give you a shot of this cowboy here. He cleaned up nice. That's a very cool figure for my fine shelf. It's marked there too. MPC 85, I think, or 86. Must be the mold number. Very cool. I love this one. Later. Find that toy. There's a good layer here. Here's a marble. Thought that was another one. This looks like one of them red marble kings. Looks kind of stink. Oh, it's beautiful. My goodness. These are nice marble king marbles, that's for sure. Look at that. Can't argue with that. That's a beauty. I'll clean them all up and see you at the end. I'm gonna look in here. Well, it's a beautiful day now. It stopped raining. I'm just out looking for some cool stuff. Please. Well, I'm getting this busted out. I found that red cowboy right there. Now this, hopefully there's cowboys and Indians all in here and more marbles. Here's another Marble King it looks like. And this one looks like it has pink in it. It looks awesome. It's some kind of, yeah. Look at this, this is, a, this is worth the whole trip. This is at least a $10 marble on eBay. You know, it's a really unique Marble King. You just don't see them. Look at that boy and pink in it. Look at that side. That's super nice, folks. It's, I mean, it's super nice. It's a beauty. I, if I cleaned up, there's no dings on this. It, if it ends up being wet mint, which it looks like, I'd start this at $9.99. Dollar, like 95 shipping first class bubble envelope, and it would sell. 
That's a nice one. But I keep all these. Well, that sure as heck look like something big and awesome. And look, it's a knob or something. I thought that was a huge marble. Looked real good. Imagine what I thought when I saw that. Oh, dude. Sure, I'm raking the sidewall there going that way, and I'm pretty sure I just saw. I'd say this is some kind of vetro cat eye. If it's even a marble, it, it's not even a cat eye. It's a solid, solid yellow one. I don't have a solid canary yellow, it's nice. I'm right in where I touched that layer where I found that cowboy and I see a marble back here. It looks like a blue marble piece, but look at, there's some kind, that might be a, like a carburetor or something. But look at this, that's an old brake. You can see the rust on it, but I found a tail later. I think it goes like that. I should probably take that and glue it, but I don't know. Can't take everything, but let's get this marble. I'm chalking them up today. I'm getting some nice ones. Hopefully some real nice, see that's another, I've got, you know, a good many of these. It's a common marble king, but that's surely nice and the condition's beautiful. I'll look for some more. Marbles just keep coming. There's another one of them yellow ones. Canary yellow, solid yellow ones. Two of them out of here. But, you know, I've been finding stuff over there, but I like to move around. I'm on this side of this tree now. I've dug test pits all around. I've dug down in here and over the hill I did real good. Right in here immediately. Looks like another one of them green ones. I found lots of these in here. Yep. A little pea green marble. They're nice. It's going in my frame. Well, as I figured, there's marbles over here too. Here's another rainbow. It looks beautiful. See it there? Raked right out of there. They're going right up the hill. Of course, as I thought they would be. This is another marble king, but it's beautiful condition. It'll look great in my frame. Later. You can see, I got this down to the rust layer. I found it, and right there's a marble. I'm gonna stop on this one, I'm about dead. This soil's wet, and I've been raking for hours. But I got some nice ones again. Let's see what this one is. Looks like some kind of real nice cat eye. Oh, it is, it's a beauty. Some kind of two color, hold on. Yeah, well you can see that. Good enough, I can see it through the viewfinder. That's just beautiful. Two colors, that's probably a vetro cat eye. It's a nice one, that'll make the frame. Later. Marbles everywhere in here, and right there I didn't even see that. There's something. There's one of them little weird bottles, and it's still got the cap on it. Look at that. This Lang wax with the thing, but where is it? I see a marble right there, raking back through this stuff. I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of rainbow, but it looks like it has. It's all messed up. It would have been super. Look at that color, but it's all melted. It's a shame on that one. I'll get, I'm always going to leave on a last marble, and then I always look around a little bit and start finding more marbles, and here's another one. And it might be a cage cat eye. I think it is, and it's the nice, oh, it's got white tips. Right there, over there is where I found all them other ones the other day in my video. Oh, that is awesome. It's two color for sure. They're coming right out of that thick. Below that rust layer, there's nothing. There's like a six inch rust layer, just full of marbles, just like all up through here. Look at, oh, this is beautiful. I got some nice ones today. That's, that's a beautiful marble. Man. Wow. It's two colors. It's got like whitish, almost like green tips in there. That's super. Wow, coming out every few minutes, and I am stopping on this one. I see one here. We see what this is. Good layer. I'll come right back here while the river's up. Right here. What do we got? Man, that looks really nice. Let me wipe this off here real quick. Oh man, that's that's some kind of swirl. This almost looks like a champion agate. It's no marble king or. Let, hold on. I'll show you this one with a good camera. There's some interesting stuff coming out now. See, that's a swirl. 
and it's peach and orange that's very unique hold on yeah this marble super it's kind of autumn peach rust and it's a swirl the end of day on that's an older that's a pre-19 i'd say 60 swirl it's nice wow maybe some good ones will come out of here but all right, it's coming along. I added one of the blue ones. I got one blue and I put it up there with them ones. I got a lot of those. Look at them trickling down through there. But all up through here, there's them yellow ones and some of them cat eyes and that real weird kind of peach orange swirl. There's some pretty nice ones. It's looking good. Um, we'll keep going back and try to fill this. Thanks for watching.